Hello, hello, back with another video. Uh, it's been an update with the Fluton County Jail in um, Atlanta. Uh, that's 600 plus inmates have been transferred out of that jail due to the overcrowding and the outbreaks of bed bugs. The sheriff announced to address the outbreak of the infectious illness at the county jail. It's been a preliminary investigation in the death of LaShawn Thompson. You know, Thompson is the one who died September the 19th, 2022. He was arrested on June 12th, 2022 for a misdemeanor simple battery charge. He was placed in a psychiatric wing due to his mental health issues, but jail records show the medical staff in detention noticed that Thompson was, he was deteriorating and they did nothing. And, um, they went into his jail and found him unresponsive. Uh, the jail was un it was filthy. It was nasty. They the Thompson's uh, attorney he addressed that you know it wasn't even fit for a dog to the house a dog in, and uh, Thompson was laying there unresponsive. And it's a picture that's floating around, which I you know I choose not to post it but he's uh had bed bugs and and insect insects all on the all, all on his face and inside his mouth it was just nasty and disgusting um the sheriff said there have been some changes and it's time to clean house the ch ch the sheriff asked for a resignation of the chief jailer and the assistant jailer but you know they all they submitted their resignation according to the release from the sheriff office the release also said that the sheriff office is reviewing all legal options to change the medical vendor so better care can be given to the inmates. And it's also been two investigations being launched, one by the Atlanta Police Department, the other one by the internal investigation. So that's what's going on now. Um, I had uh was reading my comments on this and um somebody had commented, you know, jails ain't supposed to be clean with you know, they not supposed to be looking like that either. I know somebody has been locked up and I asked him, I said, Have you ever went into a cell that looked like that? And he said, Lord, no. He said he said that was uh wrong on all levels. But, you know, uh due to the fact I don't know what all was going on due to the fact that, you know, LaShawn had his mental issues. He also told me he he had been in jails where the mental patients, you know, they have outbreaks and, you know, they have their moments and to punish them that, you know, they, they house them in unfilthy cells or, you know, if this, that's what he said. So, um, I don't know if the cell was like that when LaShawn went in there, which he said it probably was. And by him having a mental breakdown, they weren't giving him the care that he need and stuff. He, you know, it, he made it worse, but still they wasn't checking on him and, he shouldn't have went out the way he went out, but they have been approved for five million dollars for emergency improvement. So the and then also to clean up the jail. The, and the sheriff also said he wanna uh he's looking into how the jail became infested with bed bugs. Well, you know, bed bugs, they say is I did my research on it, they hitchhikers. So you arresting people, one of them inmates that brought them in there. But that is the update on this. Um yeah, I hope um, they get to the bottom of it because I don't care. You know, I don't care what LaShawn did with no inmate should have been living. I don't care what color he is. No inmate should have been in that cell the way it was. It was all nasty and filthy. His family already said he looked like he was malnutrition, looked like they wasn't feeding him, which I had said that in my first video. Dude had issues and like my the guy who I asked had but he had been locked up before so he probably was having meltdowns and you know and they wasn't seeing to him he said he's seen that in jail and stuff you know they just to punish him you know they wasn't they wasn't looking looking after him like he's like they supposed to they wasn't feeding him that's what the word is the rumor is that LaShawn wasn't getting fed and so you know he having an outbreak burst meltdown and that sheriff said he was going to clean house because them jailers was not doing their job. I mean, you see an inmate is deteriorating and stuff, you do something. But we hear this all the time in jails and prisons and stuff. Like I say, I, I like to watch a lot of crime stuff and shows they show on the ID channel. And I was looking at, it was about a jail where they, how they was treating the inmates wrong and stuff. I guess they say, you know, you did your time. You get in here, you know, we, you know, this is what you get for you know, committing crimes and stuff. That's how they was looking at it. But LaShawn had his mental issues 
in jail for three months and you he wasn't they wasn't giving his medicine and it was said that he wasn't getting fed and all this kind of stuff so they still investigate and it's still gonna be they trying to determine you know who's gonna get charged have nobody have got charged yet that i know of but his family is not happy at all of what was going on you know with him but what the, they got approved for five million dollars but i did read somewhere that um they was giving five hundred thousand dollars back here to treat that bed bug infest infestation that they got in that jail. Now this look like it's a big jail, so you just can't go in there and treat that one cell. You gonna have to you gonna have to do that whole jail. So that's why the, you know they transferring people out. It was overcrowded for one. You gonna have to do to. I know somebody who had a bed bug problem. She's in. It can be costly. It, it depends on how big your house is. She said she had to pay like $1,700 and stuff. But, you know, they got approved for five million. I know that five million ain't going to go towards that whole bed bud infection. They need other stuff, too, for the jail. It's not for the, you know, but um, I'm hoping LaShawn getting the justice they need. And, you know, they clean this jail up. I have family in Georgia, and I was talking to them about it. They say, yeah, they said that, you know, this jail is one jail you don't want to go to if, you know, they said if you was black. That's what they said. I had a cousin tell me that when I was talking to him. He said, yeah, they was talking about this. This is the talk down here. But, you know, this happened last year, and it just hit the, we just hearing about it. And his family, they got their own t attorney, and the civil rights attorney is Ben Crump. We all know Ben Crump. He have represented a whole lot of people for us, Trayvon Martin and, Rashid Carter, the guy that they that was um was lynched over there in Mississippi. I'ma do a story on that. I'm trying to gather up some more information. But that was just sad all the way around how they did him. And um yeah, that was a sad story. I'll get to that later. But we all know who Ben Crump is. So Ben Crump is involved in this too, so we already know what it is. So yes, yeah, so that's the update with the jail. Yeah, inmates been transferred out because it's it's overcrowded too. They say some of them inmates was laying in the hallway and the floor and stuff on cots because they didn't have enough cells for them. So they had to transfer 600 plus inmates out to other jails and try to get, you know, get to this, this bed bug festation. Like I say, bed bugs are hitchhikers. I did my research on it because uh, my coworker, she had it and how she said she got it. Her grandkids went to their other grandma to spend a night down there in um, Tampa, Florida, and they came back with it. They was crawling out like they took they, uh overnight bag. I said, oh, wow, and stuff. So she had to pay $1,700. It depends on how big your house is to get rid of them and stuff. So, But she was telling me how they was hell. I said, based on what I'm hearing, they said it is hell. I ain't want no part of it. I really don't. That's why you have to be careful who you bring to your house. You just can't bring people to your house no more because, like they, they say, they hitchhikers. And I'm real funny acting anyway. I don't like for any and everybody to be in my house and stuff. So, yeah, that is the update on that. I will keep you updated on this case because I thought it was just sad. Some people say, you know, he shouldn't have did what he did. And, you know, I understand that, but he shouldn't have been in that. Should Nobody been in that cell. And, like I said, I know somebody who been locked up, and I asked him, have he ever been in a cell that looked like that? He said no. And plus, I got a cousin and his dad are police officers, and, you know, they you know, they said the same. But he, they did say that, you know, these police, they can be crooked, you know, and all that. that we, was, we talked for a long time about this, and they were saying, they was even saying it was wrong, and they've been police officers for years and stuff. So it's my first cousin and his dad. Yeah, my first cousin, he'd been a police officer for like 20 years. So, um, yeah, that is the update on this. I'm hoping everybody is having a good day. Good night, I mean. It's 9.15 here where I'm at. So, I will keep you updated on this case. And I hope everybody have a good night. And that's the end of this video. And I'm out.